That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Okay, let's just, let's just go and do our thing. Let's see what I can get out of it. Uh, welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind, you all. Uh, my name is Anthony Parker. I have a young lady who is going to be helping me from time to time, Alita Donaldson. I need y'all to go check out her channel. And we're going to be talking about Friday's Blind Mom, um, answering your questions, as I put uh, a couple of weeks ago out that I will be trying to bring on some moms to be answering questions that you pose. But um, since y'all haven't sent any questions, Alita and I are going to um, pose questions to her. And hopefully these answers that we will be giving from my uh, guest, Sarah, will help you all out. So without being interrupted anymore, Alita, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you, Anthony? I'm doing fine. Um, how are you doing? How are you, Sarah? Uh, Sarah? I am doing very well, Lita. Thank you for asking. I, uh, I'm blessed and I'm honored to be here on the show. So. Okay. Well, with that being said, Alita, uh, um, you know the title of the show. You know what we're going to do today. So let's get started. First of all, you are blind. You are blind mom too, huh? right, Alita? I'm a, yes, I'm a visually Vision impaired. impaired. Yeah, okay. as well. But I'm kind of, you know, I'm just now dealing with the struggles so maybe miss sarah can give me some advice on some things as well <laughs> okay well, with that being said miss sarah if you could speak a little louder how, how long have you been a visually impaired or blind mom question one i have been blind for 20 years um i became blind when i was 21 i'm 40 now and it's um, definitely a journey, a challenge and struggle, but overall keeping it positive and with the help of resources and friends, you know, I've made it through. I'm lucky. Okay, cool. So, Number three. Go ahead. <laughs> so, she's probably going to kill me. Miss Sierra. <laughs> Is that better? Yes. Okay. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Number two, how helpful are your kids around the house? and other places being that you are uh impaired visually um it's uh she is very helpful um ever since she was small she kind of picked up on the fact that i was blinded and needed assistance so when it comes to doing like cooking cleaning you know like reading any documents or doing things on the phone technology wise I mean, she is very helpful because like I said that's the only life she's ever known and um, so she knows that whether she likes it or not she has to help out because <laughs> she has no way out then other than having a blind mom yeah. so you're yeah, very helpful okay now you got that tip Alita your kid yes. are your kids help yes. are your are, is your kid are your kids helpful around now okay sure uh, I only have one at home um, yay! I only have one at home. I have three all together, but I only have one in the home. And my son is amazing. He really is. Um, he's starting to get acclimated. So if I say Jay, he automatically runs to find out what's going on, which is a blessing because without this little guy, I probably would be lost. So I'm blessed as well with a good, a good kid that would help me out. As you guys have you know, been able to see, he helps me a lot. Okay. Um, Sarah, when did uh, your kids uh, realize that you weren't able, able to see as good as maybe, you know, I guess the average person? Speak a little louder, please. She picked it up when she was two and a half and three years old when I was and she saw me having a struggle getting her ready or walking around the house. She picked it up on her own. Um, she, like, like Alita said, you know, she acclimated herself to me uh, she accommodated to my necessities uh, 
I mean, I guess I'm blessed to say that you know she's a very intelligent kid, and it doesn't take much to for her to see things that are in her environment or within people. So she's a very helpful child, and uh, um, I'm just very blessed to have her. Honestly. Yay, okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do you help? Do you help them with their homework? Uh, question number four, Sarah. Louder. Yes, I do. Um, when it comes to visual things, she does them to me, and I do the best that I can. My ability. Uh, but when it comes to anything that has to just with the mind, which is just using your imagination or reading or you know anything that's not based on visual aids. Um, um, I'm there to help her out, especially for her reports. Um, and when it comes to visual things, like I said, she tries describing things to me. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't because I just need to have like a very strong um, visual aid for me in order for me to understand it. There's nothing like being able to see things. But yes, um, ever since she was in preschool, I've always helped her out. So it's been a struggle. Okay. Yes. Alita. Do you help your kids? Um, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I only have my son home, and I don't really have to because he's pretty good at doing stuff on his, you know, on his own academically. He's pretty good. Like he's, yeah. So I don't have to help him with like schoolwork or anything like that. But um, anything else, mom wise, yeah, I'm there. <laughs> but homework, <laughs> I don't have to help him. Okay, Sarah. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate? Uh, blind, uh, blind parenting, or, or be a person who's visually impaired. Uh, ten being the hardest, one being uh, the, the the easiest. What would you rate it? I would say it's about a three or four. It all depends what your outlook is and um, and helping somebody. But me being a teacher um, before I lost my vision, so it kind of came a little bit easy for me to teach my own child. Uh, but as long as you have the right resources and the right support and you know just you just accommodate yourself to what you're learning then i think it should be pretty easy do you have any last minute tips that can help about anyone who is uh at least thinking about becoming a parent what they can do um don't just dis disencourage yourself um there's many people out there they want to just put you down believe that you're not possible to take care of a child because you're blind but i'm sorry there's many people out there that have no limbs that you know have other harder um uh disabilities and it's more of a challenge for them but for us it's easy because we have more of a sense of what's going on because we use our other senses so therefore it's not hard at all as long as you know you put all your heart into it and your encouragement and you do the best to your ability within your power and in your hands so i i just my word out to those those moms that are you know um expecting children or thinking of having children or have young kids um don't let anyone bring you down um you know you are what you are and nobody's ever going to take that away from you and as long as you keep your mindset and determined, you're able to do anything you want in this world. Okay. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Alita, you have any, any last minute words that you want to say? Because that was very well put together. I sure was. So, no. I don't have anything to add to that. That was amazing. Okay. I was. Um, I actually got a, I got a question for her, though. Um, so, I, I'm, I just started really having the issues with my eyes probably about four months ago and um I have the floaters I have things like that so um I know that my son sometimes feels like he really wants to pull his hair out um because I call him constantly um I try to look or I try to do for myself before I call him um what, what kind of advice would you give to me myself, I guess, in trying to learn the things or do the things before I call, because I, I, I think that I'm getting dependent on him. And I know when he graduates high school to go to college, I, you know, by that time, hopefully, I'll be extremely independent and won't need him. But at this point in time right now, I'm so super dependent on him. What kind of advice would you give how, to me at this how point? How old is your child? He's about to be 16. 
my daughter is 15. <laughs> Uh, so we're we're in the same category here in the same group. Yeah. Um, yeah. So so, what can you do um, before even asking him? Um, in, you know, if you have resources that will show you how to be more independent, that's one. Uh, but try to have every tool possible. I would say around your house, whether it's apps, whether it's gadgets, whether it's technology, anything. Um, they will help you in any manner in any form possible to you um definitely try to keep those around because i try to do the same thing with my daughter like i try doing things on my own and if i can't figure things out then that's my last resource going to her but i try to have every tool possible whether it's um, magnifying glasses like i say gadgets um anything anything based they can accommodate your your visual impairment definitely have those around um, because those come in very handy and they're not there just to be there looking pretty they're there to help us and accommodate us great and so much thank you um, yes yes okay we're gonna bring you back on as time uh, 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 as this thing builds up and whatnot, because you you definitely answer some questions and, and and you know have some more questions that are gonna be posed before you. But this is just to start out to see how it's gonna go, and I appreciate you coming on. Uh, I want you all to go and check out Alita's channel, Alita Donaldson. She has some good things coming. Briefly, um, tell them in 15 seconds what they can expect on your channel, Alita. Okay, time's up. Um, nice. I'm. <laughs> that's why I love you, Anthony. But um, no Tuesdays, Tuesdays in the daytime, and the um Tuesdays um will be like I guess kind of like promotional things or whatever. So like if you want to promote your business on the channel on my channel, then I'll do that. Wednesdays mm -hmm. will be um uh mukbang Wednesdays, so I'll you know do a mukbang on a Wednesday, and then Tuesday, I mean Thursdays, we're gonna try to do some challenges. So. Um, today we're gonna do a seven, I mean a ten um, nugget challenge in seven minutes. We're gonna do that today, so I'm really looking forward to that. So I have three days a week that I'll be on. Okay, cool. And as she get her days of the week together, Sarah is gonna tell uh, us what she's gonna be doing next in in her life. What's what's, what's got going on, Sarah? Uh, right now, my aspiration is to going back to college and pursuing my major, which is either psychology or being in some kind of form of child development uh, um, uh, work field. Um, but um, yeah, I'm barely getting started also, and they're going to be helping me look for a job. So those are my aspirations, because believe me, there is nothing that can hold you back in this world other than yourself. And um, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. And I'm already working with my counselor and hopefully I'll get that going and oh. I'll be striving with it. Okay.